A trusted Chicago Bears source just dropped a bombshell today as the combine begins. What's up? My name's Sean. This is Sports Talk Bears. Like and subscribe if you get a second. So we're now heading into the combine, thankfully. And as it gets going, there was a story released today by Peter King regarding what's happening with our own QB1, Justin Fields. There is no one whose opinion and insight I trust more than Peter King. He has been intimately connected to this Bears regime, and you might ask how so. If you think back, he had an interview, an exclusive interview with Ryan Poles at last year's Combine. This was the main source of breaking the news that the 2023 number one pick was up for sale. And King, he was absolutely right. Remember, in Peter King's column at this time last year, Bears general manager Ryan Poles, he detailed specifics regarding what he was looking for in a trade back from the number one pick in the 2023 NFL draft. And as it turns out, he got exactly what he was looking for in that deal. So let's give King some props here and our trust in him as a leading voice here. And King also listed the Panthers as the most likely trade offer. This was way before the deal, about a couple weeks before the deal went through, and, and also including a marquee player likely in the deal. This was early in the process, people, once again. The past few weeks have been filled with a One Direction viewpoint, right? Obviously, there's two schools of thought on what is uh, faced by GM Ryan Poles. It's trade fields, right? Or take Caleb at number one. It's kind of odd, though, that the narrative has been dominated by a one-view outlook lately. The certainty that drafting Caleb is, in fact, happening, and this is even without QB uh, combine interviews even happening yet. It's kind of odd, but still, they're 100% this is happening. They're 100% sure that Caleb is our guy. So let's get to what King presented today. And I'm going to go to this story on uh, on Bleacher Nation. It's a fantastic profile. Just check it out. I always want to give credit. So everyone thinks they know 100% what's happening at Hallis Hall that we're drafting Caleb Williams. But the first bombshell in this story is that King announced today his retirement after 40 years and what will most likely be his last football morning in America while he spent time talking through his incredible career covering the NFL as he should he shared his thoughts on what was to come in the near future in our league he's hearing from his own sources that the rumor mill it's all wrong the momentum is building towards towards polls once again trading the number one pick and stacking the draft capital. So stay with me. King firmly believes this. He firmly believes the Bears are trading the pick. And once again, when King talks, we should all listen. He's a standout uh, saying this compared to the national media. It completely stands out as different. And I, for one, trust Peter King. This is his quote from the story. I suppose the Bears are going to trade the top pick. I know nothing for sure. I appreciate his honesty. But... That's the way the wind is blowing. What I say, the Bears could keep Justin Fields, and they should, and trade the first pick down once or twice and build the kind of supporting cast a team needs to contend. He then goes, goes into his uh, supposed draft scenario, and this is, this is where it get in, gets interesting. He's talking about GM Ryan Poles. He trades the top pick down one to Washington. That'd be Caleb Williams, right? And get the second pick a second round pick and a 2025 first round pick in return. And I think that's totally possible for you guys that doubt this. Everyone is saying this is possible. I'm going to hold to that, including Peter King. So let's move forward. Then suppose polls trades the second pick to Atlanta at eight and the Falcons go get their QB. Chicago gets the eighth pick Atlanta second, uh, a first and first and second picks next year. Imagine moving from first to eighth with this haul. Ownership of the eighth pick from the Falcons and the number nine pick. That's our own selection in the 2024 draft. Then we have second round picks this year from the commanders. King doesn't specify which one, but I insist on pick 36. Washington has two of them and the Falcons at number 43. So what's the haul? A total of three first round picks, Falcons, commanders, our own, and two second rounders, the Falcons, our own in the 2025 draft. That is crazy. Uh, just think about that. And King, he's insisting from experience two things. Ryan Poles is consistent in the way he works. Remember, he came from Kansas City. When Mahomes joined the team, this dynasty, yes, it's a dynasty now, it was set up way ahead of time. Kelsey, Hill, Chris Jones, <laughs> plus a ton of other players, and it dated back to 2013. 
pools, he was a big part of building them from the ground up, and it was done patiently. He set the table slowly with the front office of the Chiefs. He learned the formula. He was a big part of what happened building up this team, and they actually hit on Mahomes rather unexpectedly. I know they came out saying that he was their number one draft um their number one draft choice that year they got a, they got tore up in the media but the chiefs didn't know that mahomes was mahomes at the time and we shouldn't be bandying around things that we think Caleb is the next mahomes i think it's kind of ridiculous if you think about it polls he's still operating the same way it's always been about the long game here and this is a once in a lifetime opportunity right to set our franchise up for long term success his job isn't in jeopardy either warren's completely on board with this he's going to be patient and he's going to do it right i believe the gameplay is simple and if i'm wrong we'll talk about it notice how the national guys end up being wrong about stuff get their clicks and never acknowledge it they just go on with another story i'm going to be a little different here so i will be honest if i'm wrong I'm just saying this is the game plan. It's not what everyone's saying. The bones to a Fields trade, it's not what's happening. I say we're going to pick up Fields' five-year option soon to give him security and buy-in moving forward. What's happening right now, it's not the groundwork being laid for a Fields trade. That's not what's happening. Poles, he's actually getting the deal done for trading this number one pick right now. With this done, free agency, it'll be conducted with a quarterback plan firmly in place. I believe this trade with Washington gets done now with another bidding war opened up for the number two pick after that. We don't need the leverage of the unknown with fields. We don't have to be like, hey, are we keeping fields? Are we not keeping fields? These quarterbacks available in this draft, they create a bidding war all on their own. It's the long game. And if you know polls, if you've been paying attention, that is the plan. This might be what NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport was alluding to when he reported it would take a crazy and historic haul for Bears GM Ryan Poles to trade out of the number one pick. Poles has often discussed building sustained success through the NFL draft. Pulling off something like this, building out the roster, and setting up for long-term success would make the last two years of trading back from the number one a modern version of the Herschel Walker trade. And you guys know how that turned out. He could absolutely make history. I believe this is the type of imprint polls is looking to make on the league legendary status. And I'm not being dramatic here. Also, remember he was very close to pulling off a double trade last year until the Texans, they got cold feet. He almost pulled this off last year as well. And he was trying to I know it's an unpopular stance to take, but King is willing to put it out there. Now you have some of these sources that a few days ago were absolutely insisting that Caleb Williams was 100% being drafted by us, that we are 100% not trading the pick. Now all those sources, we're talking ESPN, Yahoo, all the major sources, they're starting to make this little shift to saying, hey, this deal being put together for the number one might be happening right now. And they're also not acknowledging that they were wrong and they're 100 percent assessments just a few days ago. It's kind of crazy how we use all these sources as news sources, but they're proven wrong again and again and again. I trust Peter King. And one way or another, a decision on the top pick, it's coming soon. And this week will go a long way in deciding what happens. And I really appreciate you guys watching. It is so much fun leading up to the draft, even though it gets a little tiresome. Uh, you guys continue to join me throughout the week. Whatever happens, I will be reporting on it and appreciate you guys. Bear down. It's going to be a great offseason. See ya.